It's day 117 of 365, and today we're going to go and see the Clegger. Nick Clegg is a UK natural phenomenon. Phenomenon? Phenomenon. He's the leader of the Liberal Democrat Party in the UK, and he's coming to Newport today, so I'm going there to witness Clegg mania firsthand. Yeah, I think I also might as well point out that I don't support the guy, I just want to witness this whole thing and see what's going on about him. He's like a megastar at the moment in politics. He's playing at the riverfront in Newport. Didn't mean to say playing. This is how close he's going to be. You see that building just there? He's the other side of that building. We've got an hour to his set, but you know, I like to turn up early and uh, watch the warm up acts. I've only got Gemma with me today. Because Chris, Carla and Bev have all gone back to their, their homes. So, hello Chris, Carla and Bev. I know you want to be here too. For anyone that's interested in politics, in UK politics, his ideas are, well, they're quite pie in the sky. He's up in the clouds at the moment. He'll hit home when he uh, finally does a commander position of responsibility in Parliament. But it's nice to see a third party in UK politics. It's encouraging democracy, which is good for everyone, I think. So his figure has uh, brought out all people that would never have voted before, which is good as well, because uh, it gets everyone interested in politics and uh, decisions that are made by them in Downing Street. I really hope I can get one of them things, them, like, them hand things where I go, 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 go Nick Clegg. This is the river front. <laughs> That's the river. <laughs> That's an odd looking face. Ooh, uh. He's going to be here about two o'clock, they just said. We're going to go and get some food first, I think. Everyone's waiting nervously. There's film crews here and here and stuff. Oh my god. All I asked for was a piece of quiche. That's some pretty good grub they do in here, I'm going to come back. Ready to greet the Clegg. I think something might be happening around here actually. Matt Haynes has just informed me that uh, uh, the Clegger turns up on a big yellow bus. <laughs> you couldn't make this stuff up. How far away are you? Yeah, it's good. How far away are you? We're here. Uh, probably about two. We've got about half an hour. Arrival. And I'd like this brand to be massive by the time you get to it. So if you can get on your phone, you can text someone. Yeah. If there's any way you can rustle up any more people, oh, that would be wicked. Okay. Any more, but the more the merrier. The excitement is overwhelming. In about two the crowd's starting to build. Looks like it's going to rain as well. This is bizarre. Hey Gavin, Hi. Gavin's turned up. <laughs> to get his autograph. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, right. Thank you right. Ten minutes till he arrives. We're all like ready, waiting for him on his yellow bus. <laughs> this is propaganda to the extreme. I've just been given this poster <laughs> to hold up when I agree with Nick. Not Nick Griffin, of course. We can see the bus. The Clegg's on his way. Police bike escort. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> there go all the photogs. Sky News have just arrived. Murdoch's lot. Just remind everyone that Sky News are the company that left the mic switched on in Gordon's limo. There he is. This guy, this guy is a Sky News reporter. Oh my god. Look at all the reporters getting mad. <laughs> he thinks he's the Pope. I just shook the Clegg's hand. <laughs> Okay. 
We're all heading inside now for a chat. Feels like I'm gonna take that concert. I hold you here. I've been waiting here since. Don't know what's going on. They let us up. This is the stage where he's going to be set. We've been told we can hold these signs up when we actually agree with Nick. <laughs> there he is. The saint, as he's known in these areas. <laughs> That's strut. I am the man. <laughs> I'm so pleased to be here to be supporting the campaign, your campaign, to get Ed Townsend elected as the next MD. <laughs> Appeal to people who maybe haven't voted before. People who maybe decided last time they weren't going to bother to vote. Movements and frustrations of the last 13 years. Being promised fairness, being promised improvements in their lives over and over. Join the Liberal Democrats in our campaign to deliver the real fairness. Vote for the future you want. Vote for the kind of changes and values you want for yourself and your family. From the years of disappointment under Gordon Brown, arbitrary decisions which make no sense. Taking jobs away from people who want to work legally. That is a fair, efficient system immigration I think the people of Wales want, the people of Britain want. And it is a true source of shame to me that Gordon Brown and David... Question about students. I'm going to turn my back so I'm slightly on this. So, right, so, right, so, so they've produced generations of young people who are now going to leave university with a dead weight of debt hanging around their neck. Yeah. You know, we have to debt. And that's why I want to see the removal of tuition fees. We will do that over six years. So in the first year after the election next year. That girl there has got such a clay crush. That was funny. It's getting a little bit hot and sweaty in here. I think it's all the little teeny boppers. <laughs> Hello. What is your name? Ellen. Hello. Yes, and I was just in your what was it? Your news report. In Russian, in Russian magazine. Okay. Thank you. This girl there was suggesting stop using Windows and start using open source software. That's a really good question. It's a suggestion actually rather than a question. She should be running the country. <laughs> this is a lot of fun actually, seeing the whole media circus go around. That little girl there is taking a pinhole picture of Nick Clegg. That was her pinhole camera. The little girl took the photo with the Clegg on. I think it's time to get out of here. Don't let the Tories win, Clegg! I stole something. I wonder if I'll get out. Bye, Clegger! Bye, Vince! This horrible man's taken away the board. They stole my sign. I'm not going to vote for him now. Right, I'm back at home now, my student halls. It's day 170 to 365. I can't say I agree with Nick, but him coming in has made things a lot more excited and got a lot more people involved, which is good. Tune in again tomorrow or watch some of my previous videos. I'm doing a video a day for an entire year. Uh, thanks, bye.